that's awkward. We're stuck inside of the artillery. Okay. Uh, well, that wasn't exactly what I expected to, to happen out of this, but hello everyone and welcome back to the, uh, you know, epic battlefield of awesomeness here. As you can see, we've got ourselves a pretty quick start off here. And I tell you right now that uh, Macedon's not having a very good day. Uh, he's not very happy right now. So Macedon's great giant ballista is already gone. And two Thorax Swords may also lose here. We got three Numidian Light Infantry here, two Thorax Swords, and then a Numidian Rider. So those Thorax Swords and that Ballista are probably not going to make it out of this. As you can see, though, Macedon is moving units over here. And I am so sorry, but we're right into the battle really, really quick. Let's go ahead and look at who is in this one. First off, we have got RDI here being commanded by Posguin. Pontus being commanded by Dead Morose, Macedon being commanded by Tidiron, and way on the other side here, double click, boom, Carthage being commanded by the Bee Man. Now for the defenders, we have got Mesesli being commanded by Poove, Athens being depend, defending his own city of Athens, being commanded by Kenny, and then once again back on the other side. Sorry about the back and forth. We've got Bowie I being commanded by Chatty Lion and Nervi I being commanded by Golden Xpeer. So you can see Mastodon sending a couple more units over to help finish this off. He's trying to save these Thorax Swords if he can. They are down to 79 men and... 100 men, sorry. The Numidian Light Infantry and the Numidian Riders are doing pretty well. 60, 60 70 kills... 14, well, I guess they're not doing that great, but, um, and then 68 kills on that one. But these Thorax may be able to assist in finishing that off. And as you can see, RDI pushing forward units, or uh, tortoises to the walls here. Now on the other side, Masesli has also deployed some units outside, Numidian Light Infantry. Honestly, just a couple of units to be annoying. Basically, it means you have to go destroy these before you could push these forwards. But that exposes you to this and this and archers, skirmishers, whatever they want to put on those walls. So now on the other side, sorry, there will be a lot of back and forth here. This battle is taking place on both sides of the city. So you can see RDI doing the job of taking down the walls. You know, after the eliminate, I mean, not quite elimination yet, but you can see as this stuff is starting to um, slow down a little bit, you know, we will get back into that typical siege play pace, which is a little slower, a little more drawn out. Basically doing a pretty good job with those Numidian Light Infantry getting in and around things and hitting things in the back rather than charging them in the front. So well done there. 78 kills so far. Not too shabby for Numidian Cavalry. I almost wonder if it's not worth sitting over here. But I mean, you do have the Macedonian Companion Cavalry General over there. Let me turn that sound down a tiny bit. A little loud there. Sorry about that. Look at this, Pontus moving forward, got Hillman moving up. And then you can see Nervii sending out some Celtic warriors to basically stop these Illyrian levies from, from hitting the gate with the battering ram. And as you can see, here are the hordes of enemies defending the Greek settlement of Athens. You know, you get it. Now, what's interesting is I think that I think Bowie, I made a boo-boo and accidentally left his ballista all the way at the back of the city. Whoops. Uh, you can actually see Athens with some pikes here. Not really what you want to see. These pikes should be towards the, you know, the, the, the front, I would say. Now, what's interesting is on the other side, I don't see any Athens, but on this side... I do see some Athens, so I'm wondering if they're thinking of trying to double-team Car uh, yeah, Carthage. 
Although on this side, all we do see is Miss Aisley. But Miss Aisley, I don't see any other units over here because Carthage going to be able to sandwich this unit unless he doesn't notice it. No, no, no. Get in there. Fight. Fight. Destroy this Desert Legionary. Then over here, you got Libyan infantry going against Desert Legionaries. And still nothing hitting here. We actually have had some combat um, around the tortoises, but it looks like the Numidian Light Infantry chased off some Illyrian, le Illyrian levies. Wow. Words. Words are hard. Pontus's uh, first line going in and just dying terribly. Hillman having a rough day there. Now, the nice thing is that uh, Pontus here does still have his artillery. And if he wanted to, he could move his crew over to the other one instead. So that is an option, you know, even though I personally prefer this angle. You know what I mean? This RD allows you to get this entire area really, really well. Um, so I honestly almost wonder if Pontus may not be better off moving his crew over to the other ballista and using that one instead. And I think that Macedon is just setting up to prevent anything from coming around. That Artie coming in and oh, right out of the head, over the heads of the Fierce Swords. Got a big line of fierce swords here. So that is the big downside of setting up like this is uh, the artillery. Especially, I would say, if the other artillery was actually still active. Um, the one that Pontus has, like, he has a, a decent shot. But could you imagine if this arty was shooting? It would be shooting right down the line here. And he could get so many kills. Oh, man. Right in the axe warriors. Pontus is already is doing really nice here. 49 kills so far. I think he is manually firing that, actually. Got some Desert Vigilates in square formation, I guess. And I'm assuming they're going to have some stuff here. And then, as you can see, Masesley has pulled four more units here. Heavy Numidian Skirmishers. Desert Legionaries going up against Salmonite Warriors. They're probably going to need to send another unit there. Then a Mercenary Scutari going in, and they're going to be able to uh, clean up this Desert Legionary pretty easily. Then another Iberian, and then an Iberian Sword going that way as well. And then we also have a Thorax Hoplite General from Athens. What is Athens doing here? Like, I've seen two units of both of them at the point, including his General. I, I don't really understand that. Once again, if all your stuff's at the back, you can't really... Bring them in as reinforcement. So think about it this way. So let me get to the center. So somebody on either side says, hey, I need pikes. Oh, okay, okay, let me come over this way. Oh, well, look at that. My marker won't even go that far this way. Then we're going to go this way, then this way, and we're going to go up here and defend here, or we're going to come all the way over here, defend here and here, so if you're walking to keep yourself from getting tired, then you're taking forever. If you're running to get there faster, you're still taking forever, but also exhausted. So it, it's just not a smart move, in my opinion. Um, you can see there's a couple more units, a light hoplite that's running forward now. Um, Athens, I guess, deciding to go assist his Mesesely comp comrade over there. Oh, look at this. Now his pikemen and general are moving. I'm really not sure what Athens is doing. I don't know if he screwed up and just accidentally forgot units. Yeah, I don't know. If if or if or uh, if, if Athens is watching this video, please just leave a comment. Let me know. Like, did something happen that you didn't get to set up your troops? Or I just curious. You know, I don't want to, like, like, rage against our, this idiot over here, just blah, blah, blah. 
when like something might have just screwed up. I don't know. That's why I'm giving you the opportunity to explain yourself, sir. You see Nervy Eye setting up uh, archers up on the walls here. Gallic Hunters. I, I don't like that idea because in reality, uh, Gallic Hunters, if they get shot by anything, they're just going to die terribly. Just a thought there, but, you know, it is what it is. Now going back to the other side, Carthage having a pretty solid push. But I, I think he should have more infantry here. But look at this. The masses of Athens coming to the assistance here. Mercenary Scutari going to capture the tower or the gate here. I think that's probably a good idea. Keep it from shooting at them and then they can begin filtering through the gates as well as the breach here. It looks like they have just given up on this here. But, like I said, I think that uh, Masasi and Athens are about to come over and double-team Carthage here. First up, some light hoplites, heavy Numidian skirmishers, pikemen. There, there are the hordes of Athens. An you know, the supposed civilized Athenian culture being described as hordes. Hey, look at this, an, Ath an Athens unit's coming to this side, too. Interesting. So maybe Athens is splitting to both sides? I mean, they are getting... That would mean that they would have... The, if they are not coming here, then, you know, Bowie and Nervia are going to get triple teamed, you know, at 3v2. Macedon's archers moving back forwards, hopefully, probably trying to take the fight with the Gallic Hunters again. You know, they will win that archer fight if they get into it. The Pontic, uh, Pontic Swords now coming in. And Lou, look at this. The Cretan archer shooting in the back of the Pontic Swords. But getting a flank there. And then a Bowie unit coming in to deal with this. Uh, what I think they should do is P Pontus should go in on the Bowie unit and then send another unit to hit the back of the Celtic warriors from Nervii. Then I think I heard Artie coming back in from um, Pontus. 98 kills now. Uh, hit some Celtic bows here in the back. Then some sword followers moving forward. Now we've got Thorax swords, two units, one getting on the tower. Then maybe one coming up with a tortoise. I mean, he's on the tortoise, obviously, but it doesn't look like he's using it quite yet. Then Carthage seems to be doing relatively well here. Um, he is to a point where he is in a... He's got a foothold in the city so far. But what I seem... I don't know, man. Like, especially if there's going to be a combination of Mesesli and, Car and uh, Athens here... Carthage may have a little bit of an issue. Noble fighters coming in are going to rip right through these light hoplites. The Scutari, uh, I mean, if it was a healthier unit, I mean, it seems to be doing okay, but it is, uh, the Thorax Sword is winning. Then Pikemen for Athens going back to the point, as well as the Athenian Thorax Hoplite General going back to the point. Now you see some mercenary Thracian warriors, Thorax Swords. Bowie Eye setting up a pretty nasty kill box right here. And then Pontus got a little bit of a foothold. Oh, look at this. The, the Macedonian infantry getting over to the Gallic Hunters. Nice, nice, nice. As well as a Hillman unit for Pontus getting up on the walls. And now the, thorax, the other Thorax sword busting a hole in the wall here. But I would not go through because look. Lots of sword followers and Celtic bowmen sitting here ready to kill you. Then Carthage continuing his push. More units, some mercenaries, Qutari, Iberian swords. And that is all of Carthage is pretty much in the settlement now. Sam Knight Warriors going against a, a depleted, depleted desert cohort. There's also a... a uh, Interesting. Oh, because this one's been wounded. I was like, what the hell? And then, so all the Samurai Warriors are over here. 
Then over this way, Noble Fighters and Iberian Swords and Skitari. But look at this, breaking through Noble Fighters, probably gonna wrap around right there. Archer's moving up. Really, he he's probably gotta get this Noble Fighter up here pretty quick. The Sicily seems to be having some issues because I don't know where Athens went, to be honest with you. The Sicily could really use the reinforcements, but Athens is is I don't know what the hell Athens is doing, but it's it's an odd odd thing here. Then Lyrian Hop or Lyrian Noble Hoplites getting in I what the hell? What is happening with these RDI? Just bulging their way into the, the city gates here. Pontegro, Cav have moved up a little bit. Macedonian generals still back here, as well as some Mercenary Thracian warriors and a Thorax pikeman. The Nervii sending units out against the Thorax swords over here. Honestly, I don't know why Macedon didn't just leave. I mean, I would just ran away. These fear swords are going to rip these Thorax swords apart, man. But I mean, it does look like the attackers have a bit of a foothold here. Thorax swords, Pontic swords in here. What did, what did Macedon bring for his elites? I don't see any elites for Macedon. I've seen basically just Thorax swords and some Thracian warriors back here. Th thorax pipe. All right, sorry about that, guys. My game crashed, but we are back. So, Fire. with, I mean, now I'm kind of like all flustered. I'm like, shit, the fuck? What, what do I talk about? Um, anyways, as you can see, Mazadon and Pontus are still continuing their advance into the breach here. We still have a noble hoplite from RDI pushing his way into the gate, trying to get in 91 kills on the hoplite so far. They are not pursuing these breaches at the moment. I think that is probably the right call. You got the art or the uh, Nervii Noble Horse General coming over this way, but the uh, Macedonian Companion Cavalry is looking at him, and that's not a fight that the Noble Horse really wants to take. So I think it was a good call to back off. Carthage doing a solid enough job here, especially being up against. Pretty much a t, you know, a faction and a half here. They still have no idea what's happening with Athens. If Athens actually committed to this, uh, Carthage would be dead. So I don't really know what Athens is doing. You know, he's he's not really doing anything over here, and he's not really doing anything over there. So I'm not 100% sure what he's doing. You know, I feel like I'm really ragging on Athens here, but like I I. I I don't know, man. Like, it's it's just a bit odd to me. On this side, you know, Macedon is running low on troops. RDI is going to have to commit more troops to this attack. You know, RDI isn't really probably the best unit, you know, or faction for getting through these breaches just because the breaches really screw up your formations. But he's probably going to have to start throwing troops into it. He did, he is throwing in another Illyrian Noble Hoplite into the gate. Luckily for him, it is neutralized, so it is not dropping oil on him right now, which is good for him. Pontus here still has some Pontic Swords, but once again, same thing as Mastodon, is really pretty low on infantry at this point. To be honest with you, I, I'm, I'm a little concerned about what, what they're going to do. Like, it, it seems like they're pretty low on everything compared to what the uh, defenders have. I mean, the attackers do have some stuff back here, but that's the stuff that they're trying to hold on for a little bit. Um, you know, hopefully until the defenders run out of ammo, for the, you know, from their archers and javelins. Noble fighter here with 179 kills. Fighting some desert vigilates that are setting up, you know, they're set up in square formation. On this side, Sam Knight Warriors just getting shot by Numidian skirmishers. But what sucks is if he takes his unit and goes and attacks this, then they get a perfect side shot on him. So 
you know, Car Carthage can't really do anything right now. But once again, that's what that's why it surprises me. I don't know why Athens is not just coming in and helping clean this up. Like Master Masasli and and Athens together could really just like smash Carthage right now. You know, I, you know they've sent in some Thorax swords and Thracian warriors, but once again they're just kind of protecting this side here, not doing much. Boei moving more units forward, but look at this, a larger breach being put into the wall here by RDI. So you got a double breach here. That that might make it a little easier for RDI's troops to get through the breaches now. Ooh, look at those jabbies Levy Freeman right into the back of the thorax swords. That's that's hurt that hurts a lot. Then Fierce Swords pushing forward. Looks like maybe trying to engage the Pontics. Noble Hop Lights really racking up some kills here. 152 kills now. I think we can get a good screenshot here. Oh, God. Yeah, so RDI, he's got two, or no, Lyrian Marine and Noble Hop Light now in there. Now Lyrian Levy is pushing forward into this breach, engaging some Levy Freeman. Cretan Archer coming forward from uh, Athens. So now we've got Gallic Hunters, Celtic Bowmen, and Cretan Archers here. Cretans from Mastodon pu pulling back a little bit. Got a lot of kills on this one, 193 an now. 68 kills and none on the Rhodian Slingers. I don't see his third archer, so he must have lost it. Now on the other side, Carthage here, pushing forward a little bit, getting um, stopped up by some uh, heavy Numidian skirmishers. So I don't think he'll push any further. I think he's just going to have to hold while the other side pushes forward and tries to break through. Desert Legionaries chasing up his general. Yeah, I mean, he does not have much left. He does have Noble Fighter, Mercenary Scutari, Iberian Swords, and another Noble Fighter that is just slowly but surely eating up this Desert Vigile. Last we saw him with 170-something. Now he's at 218. On the other side, we have got... Man, just... Got some Thracian Warriors left back here. But man, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure what the attacker's plan is here. RDI is making a pretty substantial push now. We've got Pontic Swords pushing in over here. And then Naked War or Naked Swords coming in here, but they are now getting shot in the back by the Korean archers. 51 kills, I think it said. Thracian warriors took him on. And look at this, Thracian Warrior's probably going to go right into the back of the Pontic Swords. Yeah, maybe not, but he should, because that is just juicy, juicy kills waiting to happen. But look at this, Eastern Archers setting up and shooting the Thracian Warriors. That is not what Ath Athens wants. I really think he should have charged in by now. You know, sword or axe warriors doing pretty well over here. Sword followers just went into combat. 106 on those ones. The Illyrian noble hot plates. So oh, this is a fresh unit. Looks like the other unit must have broke. Only 27 kills on that one. Got a naked sword waiting to go in. And he did. Athens did throw his Thracian warrior. Look at that. Look at that, 79 kills already. Not just on this charge, but he, he did get a really good, he probably got 20 kills on that charge. And the Pontic Sword is gonna break. That's a triple Chevron Pontic Sword that's breaking there. That That's that's good. Noble Hop Lights just, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I think they're trying to get in formation. Then over here, another Noble Hop Light pushing forward. Being shot by some Celtic bows. 
Now, Carthage's side, once again, just kind of chilling. He really can't do much, so, like... But look what he's... Look at all this. Look... Like, like I... I don't get it. There's so much stuff here for this. I... I don't understand, but... Nervi, I probably making a good choice here. He's taking his noble horse around. Um... I think he's trying to go after the general here, but it looks like the slingers are maybe going to come over and sacrifice themselves. Whoa! Mastodon's calf getting in. What? All right, I'm going to clip in what happened with this Mastodon calf, okay? I am sorry I missed that, but we're I'm going to clip that in right here. So I'll show you that here in just a moment. But back to the regular assault. Um, RDI really getting his stuff in now and causing a mass retreat from the defenders. I honestly, what probably is causing the mass retreat is actually this right here. Um, you know, the, the Macedonian general getting through and right now he's up to 399 kills so far. Whoo, boy. All right, so Bowie and Nervii just mass falling back. They are retreating to the point. Very, very odd choice, personally. I think, like, I think Bowie has got a ton left. Nervii looks like he might be a little less, but I think they definitely have enough here. They, they would have plenty to do this if more Athens was actually, like, helping on this side. I just, I really don't understand still what's what's going on over here like why didn't athens and macedon combine to annihilate carthage like so much of athens is over here and there was so much of macedon over here that carthage wouldn't have stood a chance i i don't get it and now like if you're not if athens isn't gonna help over here then then why didn't why didn't more stuff go and help eliminate this I, I just i'm i'm a bit confused as to what's what's happening but i mean it is what it is so the defenders on this side are falling back but pontus is going to come in and try and get some stuff with this general i believe mastodon so his unit is still alive but is he still alive I think he might be. I think Macedon's general might be alive still. Um, let me see. Does it say anything? Yeah, I mean, does, it doesn't say anything about his general being dead. So I think Macedon's gen is still alive. Carthage getting into a little bit of a duel here with the, Ma or the Athenian Cretan archers here. Cretan archers up on the 
building and they oh uh oh that's not good there we go so he had some infantry luckily narrow enough by he actually got a nice jabby here from the scutari killing a couple of those noble horse desert vigilates moving forward for some reason I'm just, like, I'm resisting temptations to say more shit about Athens at this point, to be honest with you. <laughs> looks like Artie, uh, well, I was going to say it looks like Artie is going to go fin help finish this, but he doesn't need to, so. Naked Swords, 159 kills, and then a fresher one that got a couple kills before that unit broke. Then you got the Thorax Pikes moving forward from Macedon, Eastern Archers from Pontus. And you can see all of these troops rushing back to the point. Not sure where the Athenian Cretan are. They could be possibly coming up to get up on the mount here. Especially considering we're seeing a militia hoplite come up as well. The Scutari look like they're getting a little fight with, you know, a little bit of a fight with the Desert Vigilates, but the Thorax Swords here, close to back them up. Noble Fighters. Alright, I might just kind of fast forward a little bit and get ready for the, looks like, final stand. You can see the attackers forming up in the back there. Then a little bit of an adjustment over this way, but you can see Carthage is just kind of, kind of take sitting there. He doesn't, he can't really push, and so he's just going to chill and wait. He's going to let his allies push, and then he will do what he can from there. You could see back in the background some of the attackers pushing around the long way. You know, not 100% sure why the Celtic Bastion business is actually going to get some kills before the end of this game. Or maybe, like, it's, he, he will get the opportunity at least. Real quick, let's go see what they're doing. I think maybe they're just coming over to eliminate this. I, I don't really get particularly why. Seems just kind of like a waste of a travel to me. They're actually taking their entire armies around here. Usually, I guess, usually you see the push come this way uh, with sometimes something coming up here to eliminate anything up on top of the ridge. But the attackers are actually coming around what usually people call the backside to attack this and possibly this. Some sort of cavalry unit here. Probably the Nervii Noble Horse would be my guess. So interesting strategy here. I don't usually see stuff like this. And that's why they wanted to eliminate the artillery so that they could actually bring their units over here and assault it. And then, you know, this is a pretty wide open area that could allow Macedon's Thracian warriors to actually get some pretty good use here. See how he uses them. All right, so we've got Thracian Warrior v. Fierce Sword. The Fierce Sword is going to be the better unit here, um, but the Thracian Warriors will get some pretty solid charges, except for that one. He should have pulled one out and then sent the other one in. I think he sent in that secondary unit a little too early. He should have allowed the first unit to get his charge bonus off, then swapped them. 
Then you can see Illyrian levies pushing around the flank of the Fear Sword. Might be able to get in around it. And then RDI setting some stuff up here. I don't know if he's going to push this way. The Nervii General, it did return to the point, though. All right, so the first Fear Sword break wavering. Gone, and now they will be able to charge into the next one. I kind of wish Thracian Warriors had something like Frenzy, like the Fear Swords do. Um, might make them a little more expensive, but it, it, I think it'd make them a little better. Thracian Warriors are a solid enough, like, shock unit, but uh, they, they just are a little... They're a glass cannon, in all honesty. Um, and they are really, really cheap. 46 melee attack, 36 charge bonus, which is only one less than a Fierce Sword. They actually have a better melee attack than a Fierce Sword as well. The Fierce Swords have 55 melee defense, and the Thracian Warriors have a really, really bad 12 melee defense. Really not good. Carthage just kind of sitting, waiting, waiting still. Do have the Macedonian general over this way. 399 kills so far on it. You can see the thorax pike moving forward. That fear sword is now gone. 173 kills on it. I'm not really sure what the point of the of that was. I think it was a waste of some fear swords from Nervii personally. You know, I just don't really see the point. Heavy Numidian skirmisher general for. Precisely moving up, and that's actually a, a good target. Firing over at the mercenary Thracian warriors. Thracian warriors are not going to like those javelins. Look at this, Illyrian noble hot play from RDI moving up. Big downside is look at it exhausted now. Pontic Royal Cav, probably coming up too. Yep, second win to the Illyrian noble hot play. That's literally what I was about to say. And Athens pulling units back. Still leaving some stuff here around the Archer Tower. I'm surprised he hasn't taken this unit off the hill because he doesn't need to guard it. It's not doing anything. Because of the way the attackers attacked this angle from the, the ocean side, the typical Archer Hill is what most people call it. This guy right here is useless. So... I don't know why they're still guarding it. Rhodian Slingers have now moved up. Looks like they're shooting over at the Celtic Bows. And then now we've got some Pontic Archers moving this way. Probably out of ammo. Well, I don't know. 53 kills and 104 kills. Yeah, they definitely have ammo still. I would be really careful because Nervii's General is lurking around somewhere. And this is not a far run for the General. Now, I, I'm betting they would see it move, but, like, still, it's I'd be careful with that. Pike set up, just kind of looking off in a random-ass random direction there. Thracian Warriors, Thorax Hoplites. They're just, I guess, just giving up this whole area when they could have just destroyed Carthage. I, I very, 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 very confused. I don't really know what's happening right now. 34 kills now on the Rhodian Slingers. Ooh, look at this. Slave infantry from Masasli moving over this direction. What the hell? There's Nervi Ice General. 18 kills. Looks like it charged into a pike and somehow got through the pike, I guess. But it's not going to have a very happy day because here comes Pontus and Macedon, and he can't go either way. I think he charged straight into a pike unit and lost a ton of men. You are not about to... No, Nervi, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh, you're so screwed, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. That's fantastic. And that Pontic Royal Cavalry is going to have a heyday. Oh, jeez. 
And once again, not a very good switch here. As Macedon gun in, Pontus needed to get out of that. Um, and then the bronze shield pikes were able to turn around before the slave infantry got in. Now RDI on the forefront of the attack has his noble hoplites at the forefront. 140, 140 kills and then 167 kills. Then he sent in an Illyrian marine to beef up this side of it as well. Just to give something to help it a little bit. 94 kills on the Rhodian Slingers now, and the Celtic Bows are gone. But here comes Carthage. Carthage now attacking a place that he can. Carthage has a smaller amount of units, so this actually, in a way, benefits him. He can attack through these smaller places with his high-quality noble fighters. 87 kills now, the Thorax Swords. This is a fresh Thorax Sword, so they could do all right. And unfortunately, he is going to have to take one of his units to protect his flank. But I do think that... Um, gosh, I just can't believe that they didn't just go finish him. That It just boggles my mind. Now, the Bowie Eye is falling back because of the Thorax Pikes. He can't do anything about it. The Pikes are there, and he has nothing to kill them. So... Now, the Nervii General is dead, but I believe Nervii is pretty much out of uh, troops, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. Um, that's no, you know, that's all right. And so the attackers just continue this push as Bowiei is probably going to have to continue to fall back. Now, what I would do as Bowie, I, is Bowie, I would engage on the side without the pikes, and then just try to avoid the pikes at all possibilities. What that tends to do is it tends to create a line of battle in one spot, but it allows you to actually pull the pikes forwards, allowing a unit to sometimes get into the side of the pike unit. So that would be my suggestion here is if you can, on this side, I would just pull back a little bit. I have a unit right here that you can then attack the flank if need be. Move it. No. Got pikes over here, mercenary Thracian warriors. And over this way, you still got a thorax hoplite. Well, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a thorax sword. I think this might have been in it originally in that combat. Then over this way, you've got the mercenary naked swords that are charging in and um, tearing up some light hoplites right now. Uh, he's sending something this way, but honestly, that's probably going to have to go there. Ooh, looks like some Cretan archers got tore up. They're just avoiding the bikes at this point. Sword follower moving forward. They do have an Illyrian Noble Hoplite there that's probably soaking up some some of the ammo. Not even stacked on top either. Mount's power is like dead even right now. Thorax swords turn their turn their shields back because they were getting shot by the Eastern archers. Got some archers over here. I think probably just sent over to capture that tower so it didn't shoot units as they came around here. But this flank is pretty much exposed. The Pontic naked swords are gonna get in. He probably needs to go there now. Yep, good job. 83 kills on the noble so or on the naked swords, excuse me. And they're probably gonna get some really good kills right here. The big downside to what they just did is um, because the uh, thorax sword was really drawn out, the um, naked sword is getting surrounded now, so that naked sword is probably going to get tore up. But the downside is now the other naked sword is going to come in and help. That one has 280 kills on it, guys. Got a lot of archers, not a lot, I guess, but two archers over here from Athens. 124 kills, still has ammo, 106 with ammo, as well as still some mercenary Thracian warriors over here. And then Athens has sent some stuff around to try and eliminate 
um, and envelop Carthage finally. Um, Scutari, 260 kills, 188 on the Noble, on the uh, Noble Fighters. Lucian Hoplites with 91 kills. That's pretty good. The Companion Captain has a 402 kills now. Bleric Slingers uh, taking on some Peltis. Peltis uh, seem to be getting the better of that, so. Thorax Hoplite, 58 kills. I think they're going to beat the Scutari. Yeah, they will, especially because Athens is sending a unit over. Now, the Thorax Sword is going to beat the Naked Swords. But you do have the Macedonian General coming this way now. And the Pontic Gen is causing issues in the backs. And he's going to come over this way and probably break the Thorax Swords. Pontic Gen is at 122 now. Thorax Hoplite's moving back. Thorax Swords beat these guys. Now they need to finish the Noble Fighters. 136 kills now, getting cycled charges. Getting into the backs of the line, breaking through stuff. Um, the Thracian warriors hitting this side against the Oath Sworn. Pikes forcing their way through the center of the line, and the Pontic Royal Cavalry cycle charging in, hammer and anvil into the backs of all of these units. That whole thing I just said sounded like crap, and I'm so sorry. Hammer ambling, like what the hell is that? Like, stupid. <laughs> Macedonian general cycle charging into the thorax swords here. The thorax swords are not going to make it. Easter Archer should stop shooting though. You really don't want to hit these uh, the companion cab anymore. They do have some range units left over here, including Rudy, Rodian Slingers, Rudian. Rodian Slingers, Eastern Archers, the Bronze Shield Pike is over here now as well, fighting up against the, Thor the Sword Followers, and the Sword Follower is not going to make it much longer. 171 kills on the Bronze Shield Pikes, very well done. And then another cycle charge of the Three Shield Warriors. Oh, did you see that Vila Volley from the Oath Sworn? Once again, not a good charge. Don't do this, Titty Rod. What are you doing? You just charged a unit into the back of another one of your own units and it's not doing anything. Shame, Titty, shame, shame, ding. I'm gonna get my, you know what guys? I'm gonna get myself a cowbell and when you guys, when I see, not you guys, but when I see things like that, I'm gonna do that. Shame, ding, shame, ding. In the words of Will Verrill on SNL, more cowbell. Or no, not Will Ferrell who says it. Uh, Will Ferrell plays a cowbell in the words of, um, oh my God, what's his name? Shit. Um, oh man, I'm having a complete brain fart. Uh, da, 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 Christopher Walken, Christopher Walken. In the words of Christopher Walken on SNL, Boy Cowbell. That was a terrible impression, I'm so sorry. So it's interesting, so the point is right where Athens is sitting, and now they have to get through Athens. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. Thracian warriors, two units of Thracian warriors. He does have one pike unit, thorax hoplites, and a couple range units, including a leftover Mesesali unit over here. Then over this way, he does have a couple more units of Thorax Hoplites, Thorax Swords, and a, another Cre a Peltist over here. Now the Macedonian General actually retreated, 427 kills, very well done. Pontus General at 190. So I'm interested, are they going to try and finish this first or do they just ignore it for now and push at the point? RDI is the main leftovers of the attackers with some, some minor units still left from the other faction. Pontus does, or I mean Mastodon, excuse me, does still have his Thorax Pike unit, the 112 men. He has got 
three Thracian warriors that are very depleted. A lot of really good kills, though. And then Eastern Archers uh, for Pontus. Rodian Slingers look like they are getting lots of kills. 181 on them. And then uh, the Lyrian Marines charge forward. Maybe just to take the, you know, shock of the Thracian Warriors? I'm not sure. I think smart idea here. Mastodon's going to take his pikes and push at the units that can't deal with pikes. And then maybe... Okay, so I guess Pontus is maybe just going to set up over here to kind of try and keep the Athenians at bay over there. Thracian Warriors here look like a, a 56 kills. Lyrian Marines, look at this, 135 kills, 151 kills. Titty's going to be like, well, I got a lot of kills on my stuff, so shut up about my charging. And I'd be like, you know what, Titty? Bleh. <laughs> Ooh, but look at this, Mastodon's gen getting around. He might come in here, or he could possibly come around the back, to be honest with you. Get right around in, into Athens Archers and Mesesely. But not just that, look at this. This line of pikes is so thin and so weak, I bet one charge in the back of these pikes, he would break them. And if he can break the pikes, then RDI and his other units can continue this push into the line. Now, the gen general situation, Athens still has a general, Mesesely, might, I think still has a general. Macedon, I'm pretty sure, still has a general. Pontus, I'm pretty sure, lost his general. It's only not, uh, seven men, so... Thracian warriors charging Thracian warriors. Uh, but the Athenian Thracian warrior un unit is much healthier. The Rhodian slingers are getting just tearing these pikes apart. The pikes are break. Then you, br then you can get through, but or you just go right down the middle, and that's going to cause a break there. Yeah, so, I mean, in reality, it's just this and this. Got a Thorax Swords, 254 kills. Very well done. 224 kills on the Peltis. Eastern Archers are trying to kill as many as they can before they are gone. This guy looks like he's out of ammunition, though. 147 kills. 448 kills on the companion cab. And then the Brontia Pike. There you go. In Pike formation. Going to set up against those guys right there. And now once they deal with this, they will be able to get around and surround the Thorax Hoplite Athenian General as the Thorax Pikes from Macedon push their way towards the battle here. 465 kills on Mastodon's general. Thorax swords, I don't think are gonna make, make it very much longer. Athens general retreated from that battle, or that fight, and is gonna go fight the Illyrian Marines instead. They could possibly get in and pin that unit, allowing the pike to move forward. Well, maybe not, because there is this Thracian warrior left. 113 kills on it, and then the Lyrian Marine's gonna come help finish that. Okay, so it is now done. We've got the Thorax Hoplite left, and then over this way, the Thorax Hoplite, I think it's gonna break? Uh, maybe? It doesn't seem to want to. Then a charge into the back of the Thorax Swords over here. 317 kills. Damn, very nicely done. Mastodon pushing forward with his pikes. And I think they're going to get the surround on the Athenian general here. I will tell you, we are getting very close to running out of time. So it's going to be interesting to see what the ending of this battle is. All right, Athens, his general basically just needs to hold out for enough time. The question is, can he? 
probably his better option would have been to try and fall back into a place where he couldn't be flanked. But in reality, like wherever he went, it would have been tough because the pike would have been the, honestly, the hardest thing to get through would have been the pike. Now they broke an Illyrian Marine, re-engaged into the next Illyrian Marine. Oh, and the bronze shield pike into the side, Macedon's thorax pike into the back. Oh, who's gonna take this? Who's gonna take it? Oh, he's wavering. Getting through the, uh, the Macedonian Rhodian slingers, but charged by the Pontic Royal Cav once again, just trying to keep him pinned down. He is broken and the attackers take the battle. All right, let's look at the kills here. Titty Rond as Macedon leading for the attackers, 2,600, actually leading in the game, 2,600 kills. Really just about everything doing very well, except for a few Thorax swords, but those are probably the ones that went through the, the beginning. And of course, I know that he, that hurts that, oh, Titty, I feel you, man. 2,300 kills for Paz Gwyn. A lot of his stuff doing very well, except for the Illyrian Marines, which, I mean, they're Illyrian Marines. It's not a not a huge thing there. Dead Morose as Pontus with 2,335 kills. He, man, his his stuff really took the beating in the, in the beginning there. The B-Man as Carthage with 2,506 kills, doing very, very well being, you know, set up against Masesli and some of Athens, I guess. Now, for the defenders, we've got Kenny as Athens with 2,087 kills. And an archer that didn't do great, uh, but a lot of his other stuff did pretty well. Um, Dio here, or Golden X Spear, who's who he is, 2,150 kills. Um, doing very, very well. Look at all this infantry. Every Honestly, that's the thing around across the board here. Um, and that so it shows a really good game is that everybody was very, very evenly matched. By, uh, not finally, sorry. Poove as Masesi with 1,835 kills. Um, really, I think he just had a rough day against Carthage, and that's all right. But, I mean, it, the Athens really could have helped him out. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to shut up about Athens. Chatty Lion, 2,187 kills as Bowie Eye, which, let's be honest, it's Bowie Eye. That's pretty much to be expected. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you guys next time.